Elliptical 2023 technology, the curved crank applies constant tension to the X and Y axes, delivering a dead zone free rotation as you step. With a smooth operation and efficient motion, you can get the most out of your cardio workout equipment for home workouts. The ergonomic crank allows you to easily and safely adjust the resistance level while still running for a full indoor heat workout. It features an LCD screen that tracks and displays calories burned, time, speed, and distance. An oval path with synchronized handlebars, plus stepper movement provides a total body workout in a space-saving elliptical machine that combines the benefits of a vertical climber, an elliptical trainer, and an exercise stepper and stair climber. Personal and family fitness machine, with a compact design, two-in-one motion, patented curve crank technology, transport rollers, and an LCD screen. This is the perfect home workout machine for anyone who wants to exercise in their home, apartment, or fitness room. At the moment, you have the opportunity to watch a practical explanation of the revolutionary BSD-800 elliptical stepper machine. Welcome to the official Body Power Step Track Workout. I'm Nico Carafield, and you're about to experience a complete total body workout using the Body Power Step Track. Let's get started. All right, first things first. Let's get our hearts pumping and get ready for the workout. We're gonna warm up on the Step Track for just a few minutes. This is a full body interval training workout, so you'll burn fat faster than just walking because you'll get a maximum workout with a minimum impact in just 12 minutes a day. Remember, you'll always have the option to go at your own pace. The equation here is simple. Working harder equals higher oxygen intake equals greater calorie burn. And if you're working hard, studies show that you'll continue to burn calories even after the workout is over. Let's look at the workout. In 12 minutes, you've got five sprints, four squat rounds, and that's five seconds down and five seconds up for five rounds. And we'll reverse and go backwards three times, increasing the intensity each time. And yes, the last one will combine reverse movement with a squat before you sprint to the finish. We'll start out building our intensity for a few minutes before going into our first round of squats. Squats are totally optional. You can always opt out. All right, the warm up is almost over, but before we get started, reach down and grab the inside handlebars and measure your heart rate. You should only have to hold them for about five seconds or so, with a firm but not too tight grip, just so you can see where you are from a heart rate perspective. Nice and easy here. Remember, you're still warming up, so let's ease your muscles into exercise. We're gonna start our 12 minute workout in just a few seconds. So reach down, grab that knob in the center of your step track and turn it to the right. You want to start with an intensity of two or three. Let's get started. Here we go. Don't feel the need to go all out in this first minute. We'll take the intensity up soon enough. Just stay relaxed and get a feel for the machine. Great job. Focus on your form. Engage your core. That's right, pushing and pulling with those arms and grounding your heels into the pedals. Nice and easy, because we're about to get busy. All right, as we come to the end of the first minute, we're gonna step it up a notch. I want you to reach down and turn that knob to the right and add one level to your intensity for this next round. So, if you started at two, go up to three, or if you're already at three, go up to four. Your body power step track has eight levels of resistance. So you can take this workout to the next level as you build your own strength and stamina, or dial it down when you need to catch a breather. You've increased your intensity, so let's also pick up the pace. Remember, your LCD display tracks time, speed, distance, and calorie burn, so use that to track your progress. Keep those hands on the outside handlebars and dig in, pushing and pulling with the arms and pressing down into your heels. 
Shalise is gonna check her heart rate again, and Jeff is gonna pick up the pace even more in these last 20 seconds. Shalise is staying on the outside handlebars and working her lower body as she kicks it into another gear. Great job, guys. All right, guys, we're into our squat segment. We're gonna go into her for five seconds. Five seconds on the down and five seconds on the up. Let's go ahead and get down for our first squat. For one, two, three, four, five. Back up to relax. Very good, going back down into our next squat here. Really pressing firmly into those heels, activating into the hamstrings and the quadriceps coming up. Looking over here with Jeff, we've got our outside handlebar, so he's getting a push-pull motion, working into the triceps, biceps, shoulders, chest, and back. Very good. And down for one, two, three, four, five. Awesome job. Keep it working. And down again for one, two, three, four, five. Great job, guys. Keep moving. Legs pumping. Let's put the resistance back up one level. We've added resistance and we're engaging our shoulders and arms here. Remember, the step track's curved crank technology means zero impact on your body and your joints. So every step should be smooth and comfortable. The next minute is our first active rest break. And we're going to do that going backwards. So keep the resistance here or step it up a notch if you want to challenge yourself to a little bit more. The important thing is to be safe. Come to a complete stop for just a moment before you start to take it backwards for the next minute. So this right here, we're gonna allow the legs to ease up, start activating into the hamstrings, and allow the heart rate to come down. So you can bring your hands to the inside handlebars and check where your baseline is. You've only got about seven more minutes, so let's let your heart rate come down a bit, catch your breath, Let's get back to it in the next minute, or we will be going forward again. So as we come to the last few seconds here, take the intensity up one, and we'll start to go forward. Let's do that in five, four, three, two, and come to a stop. Add one level up. You've just had a short break, and now you're almost halfway through. So I really want you to push yourself in this next minute. That's it. Really give it all you got. Jeff is working hard here, and so is Shalise. Can you match their intensity? If you can't today, just keep coming back, and someday you will. Nice, keep it up. Great, keep that intensity. Squat section time, five second intervals. Here we go, let's go down. For one, two, three, four, five, and rest. Use the inside fixed handlebars or move your hands to the outside handlebars. Let's go down for one, two, three, four, five, and rest. Nice full breaths here and drop it down again. Counting, one, 
two, three, four, five. Looking good. Keep breathing. And down for one, two, three, four, five. Excellent work. I know it's burning. Looking good. And back down for one, two, three, four, five, and rest. Excellent work, guys. Now, we're gonna be gradually slowing down your motion and reverse back to that backwards flow. Okay, now that we're on reverse, we're gonna bump up the resistance to really target those hamstrings and your back muscles. You should really feel your calf muscles engage on the reverse. Keep a nice fluid motion going, but also focus on your breathing and form. You're doing great. Maintain a nice fluid consistency here, and we'll start to go forward. We're coming up on the squat intervals. Are you ready? Let's make these count. You know the drill. Five second intervals. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, and rest. Keep that momentum going while you're resting. And back down for one, two, three, four, five, and rest. This is gonna really pay off in the end. All right, here we go. For one, two, three, four, Five, excellent, looking good. And we're counting for one, two, three, four, five, and rest. Okay, last squat, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Nice work, guys. Nice, deep, even breaths to fill up the lungs. Feel your heart slow down with every motion. Okay, great job working through the squat section. You guys are killing it. All right, here we go. Maintain that push-pull momentum going through this minute of sprints. Here we go, push, go, go, go. Keep going. Come on, get that rhythm going. Keep your biceps pushing and pulling. Focus on those back muscles, your quads. You're really engaging your core. Keep it going, here we go. Push faster as we're gearing up for that reverse squat section. Nice, keep it up. Great job. Now we're gonna gradually slow down your motion to a backwards movement. Now we're gearing up for our reverse squat section. You guys ready? Maintain a nice fluid consistency here. And down. One, two, three, four, five, and up. Really hold that position when we go back down. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Come back up. Doing great, great form. All right, down. One, two, three, four, Five, nicely done. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent work, looking good. Okay, last squat, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Nice work, guys. Now, slowly bringing it back around to forward motion. Nice full breaths. We're coming up on our last minute here. You ready for that last sprint? Here we go, guys. And it's strong. Now, forward sprint, go. Push, push. You wanna see your effort here. Use the outside handlebars to really engage your back, biceps, triceps, arms, shoulders, chest.
almost there. Push harder. Let's go. You got this. Go, 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 go. The finish line awaits. Three, two, one. And we're done. Cool down. And there you have it, a 12 minute calorie blasting full body workout with the Body Power Step Track. Wherever you find yourself on your fitness journey, I encourage you to keep coming back. And if you do, I'm convinced that you'll get in the best shape of your life. And who doesn't want that? And until then, I'm Nico Carafield. See you soon.